Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create this Valentine's Day dog. Arrow the Valentine's Day dog, Cupid's right hand man or right paw doggo. This dog is extremely cute, you're going to hear me say that a lot. So let's get started. My name is Elton John and it's a little bit funny this feeling inside. Let's create this dog. I'm using a Funfetti cake. Now this is just a box of vanilla cake and I added some sprinkles to it because I knew that it would look pretty. I'm using my doll cake pan. I just cut it into three equal layers and I just started to stack it on my PVC pipe stand with some buttercream in between each layer. And this will create Arrow's body. Now I'm gonna add a pipe coupler upside down and create a support system for his head. Just hammer it into place with a serrated knife. Now I've got a circle of cardboard and I'm gonna add it on top of my pipe coupler so I can increase the area of support for my cake. Then on top of that, I placed on my first egg-shaped cake that I made with an egg-shaped cake pan. This egg pan is discontinued, but some of you are able to find it used on Amazon, which is how I found it. Congratulations, it's like a unicorn. There are not that many, or there aren't any at all. I'm adding another pipe coupler to the middle of my first egg shaped cake. I just want to make sure that the top of the cake is stable. And then I start to add some buttercream on top of my egg cake. Now I'm going to cut my PVC pipe down just so that it's not popping out at the top of my cake. And then on went another egg cake. And this baby was ready to carve. So first I'm just going to carve away the sides of my cake and I'm kind of just defining the areas around his back legs and then I started to address his belly. I think like fat puppies are so cute. Chubby puppies are fantastic. Especially those videos where they're eating food and they don't know when to stop and so they just like roll over and their bellies are rock hard because they ate too much. Uh, I know some adults who have that problem. Then I started to work on his head. I'm just going to start to narrow the top of his head, just narrowing out where I want his eyes to be. Then I started to shorten his snout. I gave my entire cake a crumb coat and added some buttercream. Just worked my way around the entire cake. Now this just ensures that all of the crumbs stay on this layer of buttercream. And when I finished with my crumb coat, I placed my cake into the fridge to set up for about two hours. And while I was in the fridge, I was watching Netflix as per usual. This time I was watching a show called Ozarks with Laura Linney and Jason Bateman. It's fantastic. It's not for kids though because of language and subject matter. But when you come of age, you need to watch this show. And all of you moms and dads out there watching this video, you need to watch this show. I think the writing and the performances are fabulous and Laura Linney oh my god Laura Linney the way that she delivers her lines when her character really wants something is my favorite part there's so many emotions coming out of her mouth when she's talking like she's happy and yet she's angry it's aggressive it's passive aggressive super sarcastic and it's just I don't know it's just wow so if you're binge hungry and you're looking for something to satisfy you, then you better watch this show. If you have seen it, let me know in the comments what you think because I, I just finished season two and oh. Now let's get back to the cake. Now once my cake is set up, I added another coat of buttercream. I just squeezed it out into these very nice squiggles and then used a spatula and worked the buttercream all the way around the cake. I love applying buttercream like this. I'm not sure how effective this is when it comes to actually covering a cake, but it's so satisfying. Now when I finished covering my cake, I ended up cutting away more of his snout. I thought it should be a little bit shorter. And I cut away a little bit at the back of his head because I thought it was just a teensy bit too round. This guy's gonna be such a cutie. Now here's a fun fact about Cupid that you probably didn't know because I just made it up. The arrows that Cupid uses to shoot people with are actually poisonous. Arrow has this very poisonous, very sticky sort of love potion kind of saliva. So before Cupid shoots the people who aren't expecting it, he takes the arrow, lets his dog lick it, and then shoots them in the face or the neck 
or the butt or wherever because Cupid doesn't have good aim. He needs glasses, but he doesn't want to go to the optometrist to get a prescription. So he just squints until he sees kind of where they are and then he shoots them. Cupid is the worst. I placed my cake back into the fridge again for about an hour, watched another episode of Ozarks, took it out and I covered my entire cake with white fondant. And I'm gonna cover the body and the head separately. There's gonna be a seam, so I decided that I was gonna place the seam at the back of the cake. Now I took some fondant tools, pushed the rest of the fondant into his body, and then just cut away the excess with a paring knife. Now the fondant that's around his neck, I just blended it into the bottom part of his head. Then I placed on another large piece of white fondant to cover his head. Now I'm not super proud of the way that I'm covering this cake. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just worked my fondant all the way down and it started to pucker at the bottom, but I mean, I was able to remove most of like the wrinkles and the mistakes, but I can't completely say that I'm happy with this because I'm still learning. So if you're looking for an in-depth tutorial by a professional, this is not the place for you. But if you're looking to watch uh, a little chubby Asian kid <laughs> attempt to do a doggo cake for the first time on camera, I'm right here. Say no more. Now I used some fun in tools and started to create Arrow's mouth. I wanted to kind of have like a wavy line like Snoopy the dog. Peanuts was one of the few non-Disney things that I liked growing up. Now I took a ball fondant tool and just created some crevices that I could place both of his eyes in. Then I gave him a brown nose. Look at that cute doggo nose. Now when I was growing up, my favorite Disney movie was 101 Dalmatians. I loved the dogs, Pongo, Purdy. Bert and Ernie, no. And Cruella de Vil is probably one of the most sadistic villains Disney has ever created. So when I decided to make this Valentine's Day dog, I decided to make him a Dalmatian. And because it is Valentine's Day, I made all of his spots hearts, with the largest spot being the one over his right eye. What color is it? It's kind of, ooh, I like that color. Oh, it's like sugar poppy. You see that? Yeah, that's perfect because guava jelly has too much orange and juicy details doesn't have enough. I just worked my fondant into his eye socket just a little bit to make it look more realistic. And then I added a huge round piece of black fondant to create his right eye. And another one to create his left. Now to create Arrow's back legs, I'm using fondant. And I know I should show you how I made these and I should show you how to make the back toes. But I shot this over Christmas and I deleted all the footage. <laughs> I can reenact it invisibly for you. Like this is how you would make the legs. And you're gonna need one for the right and you're gonna need one for the left. Some little white fondant like this and you're gonna roll it into balls. So you wanna get your two balls and you wanna hold them. That's what you're And you're just gonna hide them behind the front legs like that. Oh wow, and that's how you get that. Wow, this is such a professional video, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can put all your complaints into the comment section and I'll read them because I read all the comments. <laughs> now once I had my legs and my toes on my doggo, I started to add more spots. Dimension spots don't look the same. So I did all of these hearts freehand. They're all different sizes and there isn't really a uniform shape. Now because there are so many hearts on his body, I decided to take his nose and turn that into a heart as well. Just hearts everywhere. That's why he looks so cute. Then I started to work on his ears. Now to create his ears, I'm sticking two arts and craft sticks into the top of his head. And I rolled out some sugar poppy color fondant and some white fondant so I could make his ears two-tone. And I just flopped them over the arts and craft sticks so that they would hold. Look at that. And, and I wanted to make sure that they held their shape so I added some cotton balls so that they would hold all of that volume while they were getting hard. I just removed them afterwards. I added some white fondant to create some catch lights. And then I painted on just a hint of blue food coloring to give his eyes some detail. And it's a very small amount, but it makes all the difference. Now his collar. So I thought a blue green collar would be really nice. So I decided to give him, oh, like a Bella Vista color. Ooh, but also paradise landscape would work. 
that looks sick. So I wrapped some Bella Vista colored fondant around his neck and I decided that I wanted to give him like a collar that looked like the collar on a collared shirt. So I wrapped some blue triangles around his neck to give it that effect. Because his name is Arrow, I thought it'd be really cool if I could give him like an Arrow dog tag. So using some gray fondant and some silver luster dust, I created a tiny little arrow. Ugh, it's so adorable. And voila! Arrow, my Valentine's Day dog, was complete. Cupid, you lucky son of a gun. I can't believe this is your dog. I'm so jelly. I love the detail on this dog. I love all of the sugar poppy heart spots. That hint of blue in his eyes. Bomb. And that Bella Vista blue. Yo. It's so sick. So I'm curious, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Are you going out with your loved one? Because you're crazy, insane, and in love? Or are you gonna cry and watch horror movies? Huh? There's only two options. Which one are you? I'm going to cry and watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. How I feel inside. I feel like someone just hacked away at my heart with a chainsaw. Thanks, might I? Now, animal cakes and holidays are two of my favorite things. So I decided that this year I'm just gonna combine the two. Every holiday is gonna be animal themed holiday cake. I need your ideas. For St. Patrick's Day, what kind of animal would you like to see me create? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more animal cakes, there's an entire playlist for you to watch at the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!